It's Chad and Sarah, Drive the Lightning. How's everybody doing today? Good? Hi everybody. I hope good. Thumbs up for you guys. We appreciate you being here. This video is a follow-up to a follow-up. That's so deep. I know. It's it's good. It's like a loop it, if you're not like careful. It's like the Twilight Zone. Like, <laughs> So we made this video, and at the end of this video, we asked, where are you going to drive your Aptera when you get it? You know, yeah. we've ordered this uh, three-wheeled solar-powered supercar Aptera. Many of you have as well. Where are you going to go? And we have so many good answers, Sarah, that we really we wanted did. to just share them all. But, you know... Time is money, and we're broke. <laughs> right. Right. So, so we shared a couple. Yeah. But then we had all this information, all this data about where everybody's going. We had to do something with it. We have to aggregate that data. So what did we do with it? We'll show you right after this. Okay, so Sarah took all the data put it into a supercomputer, snap your fingers, and boom, made this map. <laughs> so what this represents- this Highly accurate, highly very accurate, precise map. Very precise map. <laughs> and what you're basically seeing is just a pin in every state that was mentioned. That's right, that's right. If, if it was mentioned more than once, it still only has one pin, I'm sorry. And since we're on the subject, there are a couple more comments I wanna read. Oh, cool. well, bring it. Right? We, got, okay. we got time. Okay, so I'm going to read a couple comments. Please stay to the end because at the end we're going to tell you what our next video is going to be and why because you decided it for us. So we'll let you know. But let's get into some of these comments. One, one of my favorites is from Mike Pfeiffer. Mike said this, wouldn't everybody's trip, first trip be from the dealer to their home? Well, I tell you, Mike, you're a deep thinker, sir. I read genius. this and I'm like, I don't know why I never even thought about, you know, wouldn't everybody just be home? Thank I mean, you. technically, I think our first trip would be to go through McDonald's. Get a Diet Coke? To get a Diet Coke. Then home. Then right. home, right. I would think. So, yeah. But yeah. Could you? Interesting. Thank you, Mike. Good thought. Uh, and then a correction. You know, they might what? not. I know. I You what? guys don't realize this. I know. <laughs> but we don't script anything. Here. Huh? You know, when you see me looking to the left, I'm just looking at the comments I'm going to read or the picture I'm going to bring up. There's no, there's no guy. The cat's not over there holding up little cue cards. I stick to the script. Rugen's terrible at holding cue cards. We tried, but he won't cooperate. So, he doesn't show them in order. So, it's yeah. It's really a mess. So once in a very great while, once a year maybe, we make a slight mistake. This is one of those times. Because I said that the longest trip was going to be from Carlsbad, you know, near San Diego, California, to Boston. But I got this comment from Kilted Taylor of Maine correcting that. He said a good video again with a good montage to begin. I like the studio cat getting more airtime. I think the studio cat does too. Rugen just likes attention. Yeah. It's like a kid. He's so pretty though. I mean, yeah, is it okay? Right. I mean, he's just so pretty. Yeah. Okay. Now to correct the record Boston is not the longest trip with a future Aptera. I'm circa three hours above Boston, north of Boston in Maine. Ooh. Thank you, uh, Kilted Taylor of Maine, for straightening out the record, lining us right back up. Mm -hmm. You know, like a clock that doesn't quite keep time. You just bump that minute hand where it's got to go. Appreciate it. Okay. There. Uh, another I did, one. I did tisk tisk him. And also I want to thank you for letting us know because we do sometimes say things or think things and maybe we're not 100% right and we love it when we get comments to let us know or change our perspective. So thank you. Careful what you ask these people for. <laughs> okay, let's move on. If we anybody's further away than Maine, then definitely <laughs> straight drive well, through like, comment. <laughs> like, yeah, okay. So one comment came in from Thomas Risk. He said, hello, I'm from Germany. And after I took from the harbor, takes the Aptera from the boat, I plan to visit Nuremberg for a, it's not Nuremberg, it's Nuremberg, Nuremberg I, I, I'm sorry. I know what you're talking about for a test drive. Do you know what he's talking about? I don't know how to say it. It's an F1 racetrack. Oh, fun. Oh, no, no. Wouldn't that be cool? Just yes. take the turn, burn it through the racetrack, oh. the European turns and all that fun stuff. Good on you. Good on you. That's why you got a pin on the map. Right there, Germany. Boom. Yep. Okay, another one. Andy Sue. He's going to go for, to infinity and beyond. Oh. I didn't know that was in Toronto. 
I don't think it is. That's why the infinity symbol is on the map. That's right. Infinity symbol made the map for Andy Sue. Good. All right. So that's it. Uh, we do need to do two quick things. One, a thank you. A big thank you. Big thank you. To Jerry and Helen from Chico, California. Yes. Jerry and Helen took our last video and they posted a link to it on some of their Facebook groups. Oh, it was awesome. And you wouldn't know this, Jerry and Helen, but we don't have Facebook accounts. We wouldn't know how to do anything on Facebook. So that exposure that you gave our channel, we couldn't have done that for ourselves. Mm -mm. What better gift is there than one you couldn't do for yourself? Yes. Yes, it's very kind. And one for Jerry, one for Helen. Two and for each. There Two you go. for each of you. We really appreciate you. Thank, Thank you. you. It a lot. And for yes. those of you that found us because of them, Thank you for taking a shot. We yep. hope we don't disappoint. If we do, get out of here. No, Just unsubscribe no. and go. You can leave a <laughs> comment down below you if say, you want to tell us what you think, if you uh, want some feedback, but please stay. I mean, don't, if you hate it, don't stay. We're not trying stay. to, you know, but, but okay. you know, whatever. <laughs> okay, so as promised, our, our next video is going to be about what and why because of these two comments. One from Jeff the Christian Gamer. He said, you guys are fun enough to watch that I would probably give anything you do a chance. Uh, I, we should test that. You think a nap video? Like yeah. Four hour <laughs> like afternoon nap? Chad and Sarah take a nap. Boom, four hours later, drool running down the side of my face. <laughs> and my hair won't be messed up. Yours might be a little funny, a little pillow head. Uh, okay, just get back to the comment. Uh, I would it said, but since you asked for specifics, I would like to see you guys do a more do more conceptual cars and your thoughts on why they would or would not make it to production. There are a lot of startups that are interesting, but I know I don't have the time to go in depth and research them thoroughly. Maybe that bit of research could be useful to others as well. You know what, Jeff? We have proof that it would be because somebody commented on your comment. Here it is, Airman749, uh, also known as Jerry. I agree with Jeff. There's so many concepts of EVs just about to come out. One could do a whole channel just on that. Maybe you and Sarah could have a conversation about the more interesting concepts and each of your thoughts on them, especially the ones that are promising near-term actual production. So that's what we're going to do. Our next video is going to be about a concept car that I hope gets made. I'm going to share it with Sarah, who doesn't know almost anything about it, and she'll be able to react in real time and give you her thoughts and my thoughts as well. As far as Aptera goes, we're getting closer and closer and closer to the gamma being created the second I know about it you'll know about it. And if you know about it before me, let me know, okay? <laughs> We're planning a trip to San Diego. The plans are tricky. I mean, airfare is tricky now. Um, trains take a couple of days from here to there. But we're thinking we might take a train. We don't know. It's all up in the We don't want to be away from Rugen too long, so we're making plans. We're, we're figuring it we're out. We're figuring it out. Uh, so <laughs> when that happens, we'll definitely have some good footage for you there. Yeah. If you haven't pre-ordered the Aptera yet, why not? It's no. 70 bucks for you. <laughs> Now, it cost me $100, cost you $70 because you can use the link in the description. Or if you have another friend who's ordered the Aptera, they also will have a link you can use and you can save $30. bucks. pre order for $70. It's refundable whenever you want. Mm -hmm. And we will get a million dollars if you use our no. link. No, no, not true. No. I False. must have read that wrong. False. We, the real benefit is you saving $30, but full disclosure, Aptera will give us money off of our Aptera if you use the link. However... If you haven't ordered, we're going to have ours before you. So I don't understand if that's worth anything to us, but it is worth 30 bucks to you and you deserve it. And you deserve a couple of these. That we know. And that's it. Chance here. Drive the lightning. Hope you had a good time for the last uh, few minutes. I and, did. Uh, did you? I did. Did you? I'm all right. It's all right. No, okay. <laughs> all right. Have a great day, everybody. Thank you so much. <laughs>